Hey guys, it's Gaius, Gabe, and Dewey again out in the shop. Last time we talked about our most typical detail for securing the timber frame to a first floor platform that is wood framed using the sip and a shoe and a sill plate. Obviously you don't always have this condition, so sometimes you'll be building a garage on a slab or a pergola on piers. So we have a couple of other hold down mechanisms to show you. Both of these are made by Simpson Strong Tie. We like Simpson Strong Tie's products because they do evaluation services reports and they have good published engineering data that you can use for the design. So the first one is uh, this post base, which is the CPTZ, meaning that it's zinc uh, plated. It is a concealed post base. And what we're asking of the post base are several things. One is that we want the post base to lift the post up off of the concrete by code required minimum of one inch so that the end grain of the post isn't sitting in water and wicking it into the, uh, into the wood. The other thing we want the post base to do is support the vertical load of the timber frame that you put on it. So you always wanna pay attention to what the downward load rating is for your post base, make sure it's adequate. And then the third and final thing is that we want the post base to hold the post down onto the ground. Um, so this concealed post base has a blade that runs up inside of the post. You can see this slot that's cut in the post. Um, and then you'll run some pins through these pre-drilled holes. So you'll actually use the post base as a template to locate these three holes. And we just use our uh, 16 inch circular saw to create this groove that the blade fits in. Um, if it's not real visible, you could also use a chainsaw. Obviously it's gonna give you a groove that's a little bit wider than you need. Uh, but anyway, the, the capacities uh, for this particular base vary, obviously, depending on the size that you're using. These are made for 4x4, four 6x6, four, six six, and 8x8. Eight eight. Um, the upper range of the hold down is around 3,600 pounds, and the upper range of the vertical load carrying capacity is around 36,000 pounds. All right, so basically, uh, we're treating this as our foundation, so really it's just a piece of pressure treated, but if you can imagine that that is concrete, we have attached the um, post base to the concrete using screws. The screw that we like is the, uh, again, made by Simpson, it's their Titan HD. Um, they're available in half inch and five eighths inch, and you basically drill a hole in the concrete, and these threads cut um, into that hole, and basically give you uh, the same capacity as a cast in place J bolt of the same diameter. So just pretend that that's what we used here. Um, the plate, or pardon me, the base that holds the post up slides over the blade. And then the post <coughs> sits over the blade like so. There's always a little finagling of the post to get the holes aligned. Um, the base comes complete with these three pins. Uh, a pro tip is to take the pin to a grinder and reduce the end to ease the transition from the metal through the blade. Um, it's very easy for the blunt end that comes on the pin to get stuck ever so slightly on the hole in the blade. So we like to ground, grind those down a little bit like a pencil sharpener and then drive the pin. Those pins are a little bit uh, shorter than the width of the beam, so you can drive them countersunk and then install a wooden bung to hide it. The intention of the manufacturer is that you don't drill this hole all the way through. So one side will be unblemished and the other side will have uh, the three holes for the pins. <clears throat> um, the idea being that at least one of the faces won't have any evidence of the concealed post base in it.
right? The next post base is, again, made by Simpson Strong Tie. This is their ABU 88Z, meaning it's, uh, again, zinc bladed, intended to be used for an eight by eight. If you um, need a full dimension uh, post base, then you would want to specify the ABR, which stands for rough. So the ABU will take a nominal eight by eight, meaning seven and a half inches between the legs of the uh, post base. So again, this post base is doing three things. One is that it's elevating the bottom of the post up one inch so that it's not sitting in water if it's an outside application. It is also carrying the vertical load uh, that the post applies to it. So you've got some extra webbing underneath the post base. Um, if you need additional capacity, you can also fill this with a non-shrinking grout and that gives you a little more vertical load carrying. These are available for four by four up to 12 by 12 rough post bases. So it's quite a bit of capacity there and also quite a bit of range in the capacity, but you can get <clears throat> anywhere from um, a low end of 700 pounds um, uplift resistance and on the high end it's around 2300 pounds. And as far as uh, vertical load that the post base can carry, um, the upper end is around 36,000 pounds. So you can get quite a bit of capacity uh, out of this as far as the weight of the post is concerned. The uplift resistance is actually a little bit less than the concealed post base because of the attachment mechanism. Here we have three steel pins that run through the wood. Here we're using um, a Simpson product that they recommend. <clears throat> it's a little lag screw that uh, runs through the side of the base and into the post. So you, in this case, for the 8x8, you would need to install four on this side and four on this side. Those are the large holes. There are also um, uh, nine smaller holes, so you could use Simpson's joist hanger screw to hold this down. It just ends up being many more fasteners. So again, we would use a um, Simpson Titan HD screw through these holes in the bottom of the post base. Notice that uh, there are two holes, so you would use two screws to use the full data uh, in, the, in the load table. And notice that the holes are elongated so that the post base can be moved back and forth a little bit to get the um, exact location that you need. And then there are these heavy duty washers that fit over uh, to hold the post base down resisting uplift. For today, I'm just gonna use a GRK wood screw because we're just sitting on a piece of wood, not concrete. Post base fits in like that. The post fits in like so. And the screws get installed on the side in the four larger holes on each side of the post base. Now it's worth noting that both of these post bases are not designed to resist a bending moment. So they don't really prevent the post from rotating at the top. So in both of these cases, uh, the intent is that you would have the top somehow secured against the lateral movement. Simpson does make a moment resisting post base that would allow you to plant a post basically in the base and that gives you some uh, moment resistance or resistance to lateral movement. 
Those are not uh, installed like this though, they are a cast in place base. So you need to get it exactly in place the day that you're pouring the concrete. And you're basically tapping into the stiffness of the concrete to prevent the post from moving laterally. Thanks for watching along.